worse conditions than the prisoners do now. And besides that, we, we're in danger of drowning. <laughs> Water rationing was about five gallons a day on the average. We didn't have a lot of fresh water that's waste. A lot of guys would wash their clothes by dragging them behind the ship. Knocks all the dirt out of them. A lot of bluey. Sometimes you knock your clothes all the way too. Yeah. Be a little salty when you got back. Shake that salt out of it when you dry. Each division had so many men, and they had so many bunks allotted. And when the rookies came on, we slept in a hammock. Slept in a hammock down in the mess hall. Really got to learn how to sleep in that thing. <laughs> then we got a bunk later on, and uh, it was nice. You know, they only had so many bunks on the St. Louis. It was got pretty crowded after after the war started, after Pearl Harbor. So. I had a hammock, but I never slept in it. Well, I slept in it, but then it got so hot, you know, I slept outside under number five overhang. Below decks, it was hot. Oh, man, it was hot. An old geek has had the bunk above me. And that yeah, sucker would right. sweat. <laughs> and here I'd be down here, and this stream of water running yeah. down on me, just sweat <laughs> like a pig, you know. And, <laughs> I tried to get out from under him, you know, but I mean, he just sweat, 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 sweat. Run all over me, you know. If you had someone sleeping above you, when you looked up, you saw his uniform. <laughs> He's pressing his uniform under his own yeah. mattress. And then we used to iron our clothes, keep our clothes ironed by sleeping on them. I can sleep anywhere. <laughs> and I did. You did. <laughs> you know, remember the chow line? Went between the twin five inch mounts, you know, yeah. you that way that wound there on the top side, yeah. and you went down. And when you get the coal fire from the beach, and thing you hear go rattle, rattle, rattle with the, yeah. the projector coming up, and there you go. <laughs> part of the ship. The big guys reading oh, books or oh, sitting there sleeping. Right. Or, yeah. Yeah. You sit down and go to sleep. Get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You slept every chance you could. <laughs> Whenever it's yeah. like yeah. four on, four off, yeah. and, you know, I mean, you slept every chance you could. Yeah. If you slept in a hammock, Four on, four off. You didn't have time to put the hammock up, so you had to sleep early. You could find a spot. I just bumped the deck between some and a couple other guys. Yeah. Yeah. Outside a couple of times. Yeah, right you know, right under the mountain there. Yeah. And they start firing, and you get all that cork and everything all over you. Know, one half of it all over. But you know, I slept there in the uh, ship of the shop on a steel workbench with my feet against the vice and my head against the bulkhead. Close to here to that door, about right? four foot. That five inch gun would shoot my head to fly and go back down. I've seen that after about three or four times. Well, we got one of the child tables, they, they pull them up there and we, you know, wasn't used them. So if you're lucky enough, you could get on top of one of them, it was a flat place to sleep, it wasn't on the deck. You could sleep up there. I've slept there before. Yeah, you could do that. Because that was right close, close to General Quarters station, in the number four bar bed. And if they had sound General Quarters, I jumped off the table. Down, right down in the powder mag. Oh, yeah. yeah. The guy that got out on a section eight, he got out on a section eight, and he, he, he wouldn't sleep in his bunk. He was all the time sleeping top side and everything. And everybody said, How come you don't sleep in your bunk? He says, Well, he says, I get in there and he says, I ain't, there's a rat. I said, A rat run across there with a bale of hay, he says, on that, on that beam. He said, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna sleep and I ain't gonna drop that hay on me. <laughs> No, there was no rats on that. <laughs> <laughs> we hauled whole loads of passengers back there. Yeah. The war was over. They put us all in passengers. They couldn't get the troops back fast enough, so we just go down. We went down Solomon Island and got one load back down in there. Yeah. Brought them out. Yeah. Went somewhere else and got a load. I don't remember where the other. Pago Pago was one of them. Was it? Yeah. TV. Whatever was over there. He, 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 he was getting right back. They just pile them on there and let them sleep wherever they could sleep. They didn't argue about where no, they slept. They scattered all over the ship. They left. They just evacuated. Three over. Wars over. 